As we learned on Monday, it is the rising motion within the thunderstorm that leads to the initial development of hailstones. So what happens is that updraft will scoop up some of those raindrops and draw it into the higher parts of the thunderstorm where temperatures are below freezing. So those once liquid drops freeze into balls of ice. That becomes the core of the hailstone. And this cycle of growth will continue to occur as long as the updraft speed can sustain the weight of the hailstone. So the rule of thumb is the larger the hailstone, the faster the updraft speed must be. So to achieve pea-sized hail, which is a quarter inch in diameter, we need just a 35 mile per hour wind from the surface to the upper parts of the thunderstorm. Meanwhile, for quarter size hail, which is, puts us in the severe category then, we need nearly a 50 mile per hour updraft speed. Meanwhile, to achieve baseball size hail, which is 2.75 inches in diameter, you'd be getting a speeding ticket if you were traveling as fast as that updraft. But whenever the hailstone becomes too heavy for the updraft, it will then begin to fall with the rain. And at times, some of those larger hailstones can fall at over 100 miles per hour. And that's when it leads to a lot of destruction, especially with those larger hailstones. And in recent history, we saw our largest hailstone on record back in July of 2010 in Vivian South. South Dakota, where an eight inch in diameter hailstone fell that weighed nearly two pounds. So now you know, for five news, I'm meteorologist Jill Swed.